Let's begin our last yoga practice for 2023. So we're coming to Shavasana like we normally do, resting back on our mats and just start to close our eyes, feel the weight of the body resting on the mat. Just have a few moments just to feel the weight of the feet, weight of the legs, weight of the back, and shoulders and arms. Just feel the weight of the head. Just being aware of the in-breath, the out-breath. It's gently coming and going and maybe the out-breath can be a little bit longer than the in-breath. Try and feel the ribs expanding as you breathe and the belly lifting. And just feel you can count the breath slowly and slowly out as I mentioned, out breath longer than in breath. And when you're ready, start to take the arms over the head, point the toes, breathe in, and as you breathe out, slowly lower the arms back down. Good, just try and let the body stretch. Just keeping in time with the slow breath, just giving yourself plenty of time. Good, so this, this is um, our last class, and of course, uh, at the end of this week, I think, the end of this week is the 21st, which is going to be the winter solstice, which is, as we all know, it's the shortest day of the year, which means, you know, it's the day with the least light, you know, it's quite dark. It gets dark sort of early and stays dark in the mornings. And then after that, of course, we change, don't we? And then from there on in, every day gets a little bit lighter. Okay? So if you're feeling a bit tired or lethargic, remember that you know we're almost there at the longest day. And from there on in, things will change. But I'm going to say more about this at the end of the practice. So the next time you raise the arms, can we stay? Just have a nice big stretch. Try and bring your right knee into your chest. Bring that thigh really close in, breathing and breathing out. And see if we can have the foot on the floor. Oh, no, sorry, before we do that, we're going to lift, we're going to lift chin to knee and slowly back. Can we do chin to knee and slowly back? Can we do one more? And then the foot's coming to the floor with the palms together. We could take the arms over the head and let the knee fall to the side. So we're coming into uh, Vrikasana, Supta Vrikasana, which means reclining tree. So just notice how very peaceful and still you can be in tree pose. Because we're going to do this again when we're standing, see if we can bring that piece to the standing tree. We're taking the arms to shoulder height and just bringing the knee in and coming into a twist, bringing the knee over, looking back to the outstretched arm, just having a nice big twist here. And then 
just slowly we're coming back to center and bend both knees just hug the back of the right thigh and just straighten the knee and then bend just straighten and bend just a couple of times trying to get the knee really straight now the next time you straighten can you stay circle the foot around a few times free up any tightness or stiffness and then changing direction could we do toes up in breath, heel on the out breath. And then maybe we can climb, climb up to the calves, climb up to the foot, wherever we could, whatever we could reach. And then abdominals tight, we could lift and remember we could slide the lower heel away if we feel okay, come up nice and high. And as we come back, bring the leg in, straighten the knee. Can we do it again and lift up high? And as we come back, bring the leg in, straighten the knee. Good, so one more time. Can we lift? And as we come back, bring the leg in, straighten the knee last time. And we could release, give the legs a shake out, let them relax. Okay, so can we raise the arms overhead, breathe in, and on the out breath, <coughs> left knee comes in, and we're just holding knee or back of thigh, relaxing the shoulders. Now with the abdominals tight, we could lift chin to knee, slowly back. Good, try and get the, the belly in tightly, so you can lift your ribs to your thigh. After three, can we let the foot come to the floor and let the knee drop out to the side, palms together in Supta Vrikasana. that hip really relax and just really relaxing in the stillness here in the peace and of course remember we're going to bring this into a standing tree could we come to arms to shoulder height knee and opposite hand to knee we're coming into a twist Bringing the knee right over, looking back to the outstretched arm. And then we're slowly back to the centre, good. Now, see if we can hug the knee and hold the back of the thigh. Just bend the other knee and just straighten and bend. Try and get the knee really, really straight. Next time you straighten, can you stay and just circle foot around ankle. Changing direction. Toes up in breath, heel on the out breath. And then slide the other heel away if you wish to and climb a little higher. Dominals in and we could lift. And as we come back, bring the leg to your head. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. See if we can do it again and lift. And then slowly back. Bring the leg in, straightening the knee. So three, three lifts in total, and then after our last one, bring the leg in, straighten the knee, and just release. Give the legs a good shake, let them relax, good. Can we bring both knees into the chest? Have a gentle rock, side to side. Just letting the lower back relax, middle back, upper back. 
you know, rocking against the floor, you know, the floor absorbs some of the warmth of the body, so it's kind of relaxing. And, and 